this technique, we're looking at pec major and pec minor. So you can see here, I'm supporting the arm, nice and relaxed with about a 90 degree uh, bend at the elbow. And the patient is just very gently holding onto my arm. This enables me to fully control any of the movements that I may need to create. We then locate pec and we will hold and press until we exacerbate the area that the patient is coming in with. Once we've located this, we need, now need to find the position of ease. And we can do that by creating all of these movements with the patient reporting back to where their position of ease is. So if this is the position of ease, I have some adduction. I'm actually externally rotating the shoulder whilst I'm still holding the pec. Once the patient reports this as their position of ease, I can now let go and just support the arm and the joint for around 90 seconds to two minutes. All the while the patient is controlling their breathing. Now, once that time has elapsed, we can slowly move back to what was the neutral position, which was here. Again, with a 90 degree approximate bend at the elbow and the shoulder is nice and relaxed. From here, you can add some slow, rhythmic mobilizations, which are just generalized to the shoulder. We can then add some soft tissue techniques to the pec area for major and minor. And then you may want to add some muscle energy techniques and some soft tissue mobilizations to the cervical spine down into the upper extremity.